afternoon, everyone. Virgo here. It is March 30th, 2021, and I'm so happy to be back. I won't be back uh, with quite as much material as what you guys are used to for a little bit, but I have a very important one for you today, and I'll try to get out um, several during a week, even though I won't be totally back to normal pace for a couple of weeks still. This particular video happens to be an actual audio of Pauline Ritchie's court, or what should have been her court appearance today, and the judge who's actually going to uh, make a decision on whether he needs to put warrants out for Pauline for not showing up to court again. Now, there was an appearance that was made by Pauline Ritchie's private attorney general that we all know has absolutely no idea what he's doing and truthfully has no business being on this call whatsoever. The uh, hearing was done by Zoom, so uh, this person showed up on Pauline Ritchie's behalf. He calls himself a private attorney general, and we all know what happened to Anthony Williams for playing that role. The judge openly explains to him, of course, that he has no right to be doing what he's doing, and technically him acting as an attorney is illegal. Um, it goes on, and a little bit of an argument ensues, and I think you guys will find this absolutely entertaining, um, but the bottom line is here that, once again, Pauline is in some serious hot water. Everybody enjoy, and once again, thank you all so much for all of your love and support over the last couple of weeks that have been very difficult for me. You have all been so wonderful, and I'm so proud to be a part of this community, and I just wanted to take a moment to say so. Enjoy, everyone. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and call the City versus Pauline Ritchie, 1A250-2975-7Z. 1571 7Z714492. Is Miss Ritchie present? She's not present in court. Is she present online? Okay, so today I'm going to consider whether to issue a warrant. Or I'm here on something. behalf of uh, Pauline Ritchie. Yeah, uh, who, is the, who is speaking? This is King Abdul Mumin Ill. Okay, you got to be on video. You got to be on video, sir. Oh, one second, sir. I'm trying to get this situated. I took it off so I wouldn't be a distraction. No problem. We've got right. a big calendar this morning. I appreciate your patience. Yes. Okay. Here I am. Okay. All righty. Okay. Um, so the question today, and the sole question today, is whether I should resummon Miss Miss Ritchie to appear, or whether I should issue a warrant for arrest. So I've already talked to you, sir, about practicing law, and so I'll, I'm going to tell you again that it's it is not legal. I'm not accusing you of anything. I'm just telling you it's not legal. And then you can go from there. But the um, but city's position on whether a warrant should issue or whether I should resummon. Uh, for the record, I'm a Shepherd County Sir for the city. Your Honor, the city is requesting a warrant at this point in time. There has been a number of hearings where Ms. Ritchie has failed to appear. We have resummoned, I believe, um, even as early as the March 16th date. She has not been present. She's been given notice to appear. Um, and clearly, even though uh, Mr. King Abdul Mumin L states that he is her, her attorney, he at least knows her and has probably spoken to her about this hearing and given her notice in some other way, shape, or form. But nonetheless, she has been given legal notice to be present on a number of occasions. She is not. The city is requesting a warrant on each of these cases. Is this a necessary hearing under Galenas? I do believe it's a necessary hearing, Your Honor. One, we do not have a barred attorney who can represent Ms. Ritchie and state that, he's, that they have had a conversation with her regarding whether or not she desires to um, continue this case, resolve this case. Uh, additionally, one of these matters is scheduled for arraignment, which certainly is a necessary hearing. The other two, their posture uh, are in a pretrial status after a competency evaluation was completed. And on the last date we did, uh, Your Honor did um, make a finding with no objection from the city that the defendant is competent at the time. So I do believe that these are all necessary hearings. The arraignment uh, uh, is is doesn't have to go through that 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 task because it's already necessary by court rule. Yes, pre trials. Um, 
free trials are. Um, well, any other any other comments from anybody? Yes, I'm still here commenting. Um, you have a new amended notice of appearance uh, filed, uh, and it's stating you as a third party defendant, Miss Emily Shepard. Uh, whatever her last name is, the uh, prosecuting attorney that's talking at this time. She's been served. And as well as uh, Ms. Karama Hawkins for Hawkins and Crawford. Um, also, Ms. Rebecca C. Robertson. She's the other judicial counsel, I mean, court officer. And uh, uh, Mr. Weaver, I see you smiling. You have something to say? Mr. Weaver, Mr. Weaver, you have something to say, Mr. Mr. Uh, King Abdul, just okay. address the court, please. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, address, I'm, gonna I'm addressing everything here. I like okay, a, just uh, address the court. I'm addressing everything here, sir. I am the court. You keep expressing yourself as being the court. We're here. We have a conflict of interest here. Okay, and the document. Do you have the notice of appearance that I filed? Okay. Mr. Sir, at the last hearing, I made it clear that I have no jurisdiction to address those issues that you want to raise. Yeah, we're not talking about the last no, no, hearing. No, no, just, just a minute. Okay. The question today is should I issue a warrant or not issue a warrant for Ms. Ritchie? That's the question. That's the sole question. I don't need to hear anything else. Well, you will hear other things, sir. I'm going to hear about whether the warrant needs to be issued or not. But no, yeah. you're not going to hear that because you're dealing with my court. And the issues that you have uh, presenting before this, this our court is that you're using a, 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 a traffic, human trafficking program, and um, that's not going to work today. You're using these statutes and codes. You're trying to force someone to come to a, a phony court. You won't participate in providing your oath of office and your official bond, but you don't want to talk about nothing else. You want to, like, put me in a box or everybody else in the box because you think you have a superior uh, uh, office or something like that. We went through the last situation where you were, you said you weren't bound. So therefore, you know, a fair hearing needs to be uh, taking place and everything needs to be heard properly. Um, you can't hear it because you're, you're a part of the problem. Okay. So, 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 so now, should, I, should I issue a warrant or no? Issue a warrant? No, you can't. Don't issue an a warrant. A warrant okay. until we have it heard by Joe Biden and my people, the Moors, because okay. Pauline Denise Richie Moore is a noble, and you never gave her proper counsel for her defense, so she was at a disadvantage from the very beginning. And so, sure. whenever, whenever, whenever you deny someone access to their court. Uh, if there's a problem. Okay, again, I'm still talking, sir. Let me finish because this my my elaboration on what I have to say is more detailed than what you might normally hear. Okay, when you're taking someone's liberty, okay, you just don't take somebody's liberty because you say you can do it. Now I, I stress the value of you providing you providing your official bond. You seem to think that you don't have to step up to the place. It's like any other business that you might charge with if you have your bond for your license or for your business. It's the same thing with you. You're no different. So I'm demanding the same thing from you. Before you can even proceed, sir, you and Emily and uh, Mr. Matt uh, and the rest of your attorneys, you have to uh, still come up with your bonds. I don't know what you think you're doing where you think you're going to bypass our birthrights as nobles to this land and owners of this land, and uh, you're not the owner, and you know you're a citizen, but yet still you want to sit there and pretend to be a Morgan. What is your problem? Yeah, I, I, I just want to know whether I should issue a warrant or not. Sir, and, no. and, and uh, just a moment, just a moment. Miss Ritchie waived counsel in the two cases that are set for pretrial. She voluntarily chose not to go with a lawyer. And at the last hearing, uh, Ms. Hawkins was fired, as I recall, from the arraignment. She would, or actually, she withdrew from the arraignment. We haven't had a chance to go over a waiver of counsel or whether she should be have appointed counsel in the arraignment because she hasn't appeared. And so, therefore, I, uh, in terms of denying her counsel, that's patently false, sir. So if you're going to come into my court, you're not going to say things that are untrue. 
Okay, and next is the uh, the sole issue today is whether a warrant should issue or not. Is there anything further on that particular issue? I explained to you that the warrant that you're trying to issue should not be issued based upon the fact that you haven't provided your oath and your official bond. What authority do you have for that, sir? No, what authority do you have not to give anybody the, the proof that you are who you say you are? when you're doing business. In order to do business, sir, you need to have the proper documentation. And we're testing your ability to sit there, as I told you before. You're pretending to be, see, you're, you're, you're playing games. You're prepared for this argument. Last time you claimed that I was practicing law and you found out that you were bound to the Moors. Now you act like you're still not bound to the Moors. So what I'm explaining to you, I am counsel in this particular matter Okay, and I am a private U.S. Attorney General. I've been conducting the federal criminal investigation against this whole government for human trafficking, Moorish Americans, and killing them for sport and others. Your program that you have, like you said last time, you, you didn't know this law that I'm talking about. It's very new to you. And so when, you, when you're talking about taking Pauline's, Richie Moore, Moore's uh, liberty, you're talking about treaty law. You're not talking about something where you can just say, well, I'm going to just bypass this treaty and I could, like I told you before, and okay. use these statutes and codes. I'm not going to okay. talk. Okay. We can't talk about it. Okay. I have no jurisdiction to decide treaties at the U.S. District Court. Well, let's move it to the District Court then. That's you where we try. No, and no. Sir, we shall remove it now. This way, sir, I'm going to make a decision and the I'm going to tell you right now, if, if the decision's not liked, then there can be an extraordinary appeal uh, with a writ of habeas corpus or actually uh, uh, other petitions that can be brought in, in a higher court to... No, sir. No, sir. You're, you're premeditating, you're premeditating okay. everything. Just a moment. Just a okay. moment. I'm going to make a decision. It, it appears that we have tried to summon Miss Ritchie to numerous hearings. She's not appeared. We only have the address on Southwest 314th place. Uh, with the department licensing and with uh, the, in the court system, the, the uh, people have appeared on her behalf. She's uh, because of that. She's she does have notice of the hearing. She knows when the hearings are. So she's asked folks to appear for her on her behalf. Have you therefore have you served her? You have proof of service the, on the file, sir. The the services by mail, which is allowed. I mean, okay. issue warrants. And the warrants are going to be in the amount of five thousand dollars a piece. Um, and there is adequate notice of the of the hearings, uh, as evidenced by numerous folks that have appeared on her behalf today or in support of her. Okay, and this the on, on the Richie matter, the hearing's concluded. Sure, you're a you're con man. That's what you're going to do for yourself to protect yourself. You know it's a conflict of interest, sir. I don't know what you think you're doing. You're really a terrible judge. You're not a judge, so I don't I don't get what you think you're doing. Now I ask you to provide your bond. You think this is a game? Do you have any information? To you my bond to you, or if I had to provide my bond to you, I would have. If you cite me authority that says I'm supposed to give you my bond, I'll I'll look at it. Is it Sir, I don't, it's good. I don't cite case law. I have an oath of office that's filed with, and you can get the public disclosure through the county auditor. And there are uh, certificates of election that authenticates my authority. The cost, Article Four of the Constitution defines the legislature's ability to create courts of limited jurisdiction. Which is created in the RCW 3.50. today. Is operated through that. I know you don't agree with me, sir. Constitution void, sir. Is there anything further? Uh, yes, I keep asking you for your proper information. And why is it that you've given it to you? Pauline, no, you haven't given anything to me other than uh, this uh, scallywag and carpetbagger con game. That's all you have, sir. Okay, it's all about so ignoring the time, At this point in time, sir, I don't think anything else today is productive. And so I never I think, be productive. Right. And I think I gotta move on to the other other cases that I have today. So you have okay, a great you day. did a fine job um, bypassing our birthrights. We will okay. see you later. Okay. Islam.
Peace and love to you, crook. Tell your best you, crook. We got, we got you. Thank you, sir. You have a great one. No, we ain't going to have a great nothing. They'll see oh. you. You know you're a defendant, third-party defendant, sir. What do you think you're doing? Remember see, you're a criminal. This is okay. what I explained to you. You cannot sir. bypass our birthrights. And now you want to just dismiss everything. You don't have the authority, sir. If you said you didn't have jurisdiction, you have, you made, you're full of it. Provide me with your bond. Anybody has anything to say about his bond, Morse? Okay, uh, I think we're done. Thank no, you. you're not done. Provide okay, me with your, oh, your bond, Just, sir. Wait, it, I muted you. Okay, we're going to move on to the other hearings. Okay, so any input on any of the other um, any of the other cases today? No, I don't believe they are. I just wanted to be clear that there's 5,000 on each case for yes, the Richie matters. Was. Yes, okay. and the, the thing is, is that as far as the Zoom hearing today, if counsel has no further input, the Zoom hearing is concluded. The court's still open, but Zoom hearings are concluded. Okay? Thank you. Mr. Crawford, any objection? Uh, on Richie's matter, absolutely, uh, we don't represent. No, no, no. Any objection to closing the Zoom portion of the oh. hearing? No, uh, we no. Obviously, we have. Uh, we'll defer to the court as far as failing to appear. Uh, we would ask that no one. Uh, okay. Summons, obviously, but um, uh, I, and I think we're done. And Miss okay, Weaver, you. have a good one. Oh, actually, one second, Your Honor. Miss Weaver's still on. I see. Oh, just with Miss Weaver, you can hang out. So there you have it, folks. Three warrants at five thousand dollars each, and it appears that Mr. King Abdul wasn't able to do anything to stop it, no matter how many times he insulted the judge, which is always an intelligent thing to do. You're going to find the recording link in the description of this video. I'd like to thank the subscriber that submitted it very much. Um, you might want to listen to it. The timestamp is one hour and one minute that starts this actual trial or hearing rather from the judge and at the end there's a hilarious song i wish i could have recorded it on here but unfortunately it would have been a copyright issue but it fits so well with this particular um group of individuals <laughs> we'll say anyway you guys have a wonderful day and i'll see you tomorrow Bye-bye.